Good. I just like the idea that leaving the lights on, the devil would be like, oh, this guy's lights are on. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to possess him. <laughs> I, I, I'm not afraid of a lot of things, but the TV's on, the lights are on. It's not worth it. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, Olivia Munn, who uh, you play Sarchi's wife. So what was, uh, how did you get involved, and, and what was the experience like for you? Because your character actually, it seems like they suggest she goes to church, she believes in this stuff, but somehow she's married a skeptic, and I don't know, what's, what's her story? Uh, yeah, so my character is uh, Eric's wife. That's the only reason why I signed on to the movie. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, she, uh, I, I didn't really approach it as like a believing or disbelieving uh, Thing. It wasn't that that wasn't as important to me. The most important thing I think in a movie like this, when you're telling someone's true story and, and their true accounts, is that I create uh, and I help create a really great home base for him, so that when the audience is watching, we really know what Sarchi has to lose when all this stuff starts to happen. So that was really the most important thing to me. When you're shooting a horror movie, um, is it? Are you guys screwing around in between takes, or does everyone have to be kind of serious because you're trying to? You, huh. there, you, there, how many takes do you do where you're like, <gasps> like how many gasp takes and freak? Like, well, we there's we we have a lot of comedic actors in this in this movie. No. Uh, um, <laughs> m not Joel, no. <laughs> but uh, he's more known for his dramatic works Very serious. and his reality television from The Bachelor. It's true. One, two, and three, uh, but. Uh, no, but so there's a lot, and Eric is, it, and it, 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 people in America don't really know this, but in, uh, you know, he's a comedic background, so there's a lot of joking. I think you have to keep it light and fun and, uh, and have fun in between. But uh, it doesn't get that, it, it got serious, to me it got serious when Eric told me that he had seen the actual exorcism footage from the, like the NYPD has this footage from their exorcisms, and that he couldn't sleep for three weeks. <laughs> and he wasn't a believer. I was like, but you couldn't sleep for three weeks, so it was so scary, big, big Australian man. <laughs> and, uh, you got to leave the lights on. Right, leave the do. lights on, yeah, yeah. They, the devil stays away. And, uh, and so then I asked to see them. I was like, if you could, if you could, I have to see them. And then he heard that I asked to see them, and Scott was going to let me see them, and Eric's like, I heard that Olivia asked to see them. She cannot see these. You can't see these because you, you won't sleep. And, uh, and that's when it got really real for me. And then I said, if I can't see them, then I have to see them. <laughs> and I watched them, and he was right. I watched, did you watch him? I watched them. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I watched half of one, and I cried. <laughs> I, I, I cried, and then I kept the lights on, and they're still on. <laughs> yeah. wow. Is this footage, is this, can you not get this footage no, online this anywhere? Not, no, this is not. This is the stuff that Scott... Derrickson, with all of his research and all the stuff that he's done, this is stuff that you won't find on YouTube. You won't find. You can't Google it. This is just footage that is personal to. And here it is, right out. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome, WonderCon. That's when I feel like the internet lets me down. Like, I just assume yeah. the internet, and you're like, but it's not on YouTube. What are you talking? I don't even understand what you're saying. The, the internet let you down, but Scott won't. Scott will. He won't. And all that stuff is like they they put it into the movie. But that's where it got real. And when we started talking about if we believe in things or not. Before I got into this movie, I, I did not believe in anything um, because I'm in Hollywood and people make fun of you if you believe in anything. <laughs> so it's like, I don't believe. I believe in us and sage. Uh, I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Everyone else, Joel, you next. Joel. Let them see the beauty that you have inside. I don't know what I feel like a little Australian accent would probably cap this out. Give nice. him a chance. Yes. Yeah. I don't Can't even know guy which guy. song they're singing. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds really good. Just sing, uh, sing something from Midnight Oil. That's fine, Eric. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> um. <laughs> the side fire's fire. <laughs> That's not even a... All right. Joel, uh, how did you get involved with the movie? What's your character? Uh, tell me anything else. Hashtag uh, six seasons in a movie. Yes, six seasons in a movie. I play uh, I play Jeff Winger in this movie, and uh, so you just got to play your character from Community. They were like, Scott, we really like that guy. Just be that guy. Yeah, just lifted the character right in. It makes he's very concerned about his uniform the entire. That's movie. an interesting idea. Uh, 
I allowed Scott to put me in this movie. Uh, I allowed Scott? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am very good friends with Scott, and he took pity on me and uh, wrote this a role with me in mind. Uh, pedophile. No, I, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, he put, I, am, in my own life, have a large knife collection, and my character loves knives you and really? stabbing. I do. Come on over. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, and uh, so Scott, I mean, Scott and I have been friends a long time. I've been, I've, I remember him telling me about Ralph Sarchi, riding around with him, and then all of a sudden it became a real thing, and that Jerry allowed me to be in the movie as well. So my character is uh, Eric's partner, and I uh, am not a very nice man. <laughs> Police partner. 